Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an advanced search form using Avada Forms. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. I've imported the Avada Car Dealer pre-built here, and we can see a Search Vehicle Inventory section right here under the Hero image. To start off, let's see how this works. This form can be used in various ways. At its most basic, it can be used to filter the inventory. For example, I can select New Cars and click on Search, and it filters to all the new cars. I could also filter to all the new SUVs by further selecting a body type. I can also use it to search for specific keywords. Let's just search for Tesla. And it looks like there's only one, as it goes directly to the product page for that vehicle. And then of course we could combine these search fields. Let's search for a Ford, in new cars, but only SUVs. And again, there's only one car that fits that criteria, so it goes directly to the product page for that car. Ok, so that's all pretty fancy. But how does such a search form work? Let's open up the form to have a look. I'll just hover over Edit Live, and here I can see the header search form. I'll just control click on that to open the form in a new tab. Ok, here's the form. The general idea here with this form is to make use of the native WordPress search, and some other features like post types and categories, to create an advanced filtering mechanism. If we look at the navigator, we can see that structurally it's pretty simple, with four columns. There's a text field element in the first one, select field elements in the next two, and in the last column there's a hidden field element and a submit button field element. To understand how this works, let's start with the form options. If I just go to the form options tab and the submissions tab, we can see here that the form is set to post as the submission type and get as the submission method. What this means is that because POST is the submission type, the page actually gets reloaded, instead of the form being submitted via AJAX. And because the submission method is GET, it adds all the form fields into the URL. Ok, they're the only relevant form options at work, the rest of it is in the form itself. Let's start with the search parameter, and how WordPress default search function works. If we look at a URL, the question mark is a delimiter that separates the main URL from the parameter and value pairs. S is a URL parameter and is the default WordPress search parameter, and is the key to how this form works. So our search term needs to use the field name S. If we just come to our text field element and edit it, we can see that this has been given the field name of S. So with the submission method and type and the S parameter, we have turned our form into a search form. But that's just the start. If you want to limit the search to only a particular post type, you should pass that on in a hidden field. Of course, you could also give the user the choice and use a select field. For this, the field name needs to be post underscore type. And so if I edit the hidden field element, we can see this search is being limited to the product post type. So if we go back to our example, it might now look like this. So now there are two URL parameters, s and post underscore type. These are separated by an ampersand, which is used to separate the parameter and value pairs from each other, and so it gets auto added. So basically the options in the form are saying, take the inputs from the form, and go to a URL with those parameters added into the URL. In this case, the URL field is empty, which means it will post to the URL it's on. Finally, you can also limit search by taxonomies, for example category or product category, etc. In this case, the field name must match the taxonomy slug, and the options must match the slug for the terms. So if we look at the first select field, we can see this has a field name of product underscore cat, and that the option values here match the product category slugs. And if we look at the other select field elements, we can see here that this has a field name of product underscore tag, and that the options here match the tags of the products. You can see there are multiple tags here, and so in the same way we could add another select field element to filter by car colour for example. But what about the keyword search back in the text field element? What if we search for a colour there? Well by default WordPress will search through the title and the post contents. It won't search category names, tags or custom fields through the S parameter though. 
But if the color is in the post content, which in our case is the short and long descriptions of the product, then it will come up. The final element in the form is the submit button element. And this is just a standard submit button. It's the submission options that make it work as a search form. Okay, so let's come back to our homepage and make another search. I'll just search for white. And here we can see there are three results. If we look at the URL, we can see that after the initial domain name, we have question mark s equals white, which is coming from our text field element. And then we can see the search is limited to the product category of all cars and the post type of product. The rest of these parameters come from the form privacy options, but they are not relevant here, so we can ignore those. And that's about it. It's a very clever but relatively simple way of using the default WordPress search parameter in conjunction with the submission type and method of a Nevada form to create a great little search form. Try it out. Depending on your site and how you want the search form to work, you will need to configure it differently, of course, but the principles are here, and you can always reach out for support if you need it. You can also see another example of this type of search form in action on the Avada Tour Operator pre-built site. Okay, this concludes our video on making an advanced search form with Avada Forms. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.